guys if you don't have these brushes in your photoshop you are not an architect so if you are make sure you download them after watching this video now as a start i have this bunch of brushes right here as you can see i mostly use these brushes in my architectural drawings layouts etc now as you can see i use my brushes in order to render my sections plans and architectural layouts so to start with i will show you the bunch of brushes i'm using the first one is the science fiction one as you can see there are a lot of brushes right here i use them to fill in the gaps if you have some gaps in your layout you can easily go to that folder and pick any brush and try to use it on a an empty layer use the correct color like this for example then decrease the opacity it helps filling the gaps like literally it gives a really good shape in the poster or the layout now my most common one is the grid one as you can see i can use it like this it's already an architectural element right here so it fills the gap and it gives an insane feeling that this is an architectural drawing moving to the next one is the glitter the glitter is like a paint drops or something i also use it to fill the gaps like most of my brushes are decorative they help me improve the appearance of my layouts let's move to the third one which is the smog and fog i use this one mostly to create um, clouds or something sometimes i use these foggy brushes in order to add depth to my perspectives now the fourth bunch of brushes is the sketchy one i use this one in order to erase some things like edges or so it also gives an impression that it's an architectural thing the fourth or the fifth one is the watercolor i also use this to color my drawings well the most important bunch of brushes is the trees which i totally re rely on during my plan section or architectural layout rendering the first one which gives the most satisfying feeling and realistic which is the depth as you can see i will be using this tree right here look how cool it is whenever you use it let me increase the opacity of this layer or let's get another layer right here as you can see it adds a really awesome depth let's use another one this one for example it gives like a really good feeling and impression you can also decrease the opacity and you feel that there is something realistic going on here moving to the next one is the normal trees normal trees you can use it rendering for rendering elevations plans or so also some sketchy perspectives just like this one right here the last one and i guess it's the most important one is the arrows since we are architects we are always trying to analyze something or to explain something so you those arrows are extremely useful for your works for example if so if you want to improve your architectural analysis this is a very wise choice you can use this arrow for example let's use it right here if you want to lead these texts in order to show something or to tell something for example let's use this right here i really love it i always use it for wind direction for example let me rotate this one right here you can put a big one smaller one and a really small one which shows our wind direction now another useful bunch of brushes that i use is the top trees view you can use it for your plans for your renderings just like that it is so realistic and sketchy at the same time you can use some variations here and there with different scales just like that and you can really or extremely let me say improve your architectural drawings just using some kind of brushes now after all hope this was useful for you guys and i will leave the download link just right in the description go ahead download it and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and last but not least don't forget to tell me in the comments if this was useful you can ask for some tutorials also through comments until then see ya